the lymphatic system, following the flow. Today we are going to look at the flow of lymph within the lymphatic system. We'll start by recapping what the lymphatic system is and its main functions. The lymphatic system includes a vast network of vessels, which can be seen in the image to your right, as the long green lines running through the body. The lymphatic vessels transport excess fluid and some protein away from the interstitial spaces in most tissues and return it to the bloodstream. The intestinal lymphatic vessels work with the villi of the intestines to help absorb and deliver fats to the bloodstream, while the tissues and organs of the lymphatic system help protect the body from infection and disease. So let's talk about the journey that lymph makes through the body. But first, let's just quickly discuss what lymph is. Lymph is the name given to interstitial fluid when it moves into the lymphatic system. We're starting our journey with the blood capillaries. Components of blood plasma, such as nutrients, gases and hormones, filter freely through the capillary walls to form interstitial fluid. More fluid filters out of the capillaries than is reabsorbed, leaving us with excess interstitial fluid. This excess fluid, about 3 litres a day, is then absorbed by the lymphatic capillaries and then moves through to the lymphatic vessels. Lymphatic vessels, much like the veins of the circulatory system, have one-way valves to stop the black flow of lymph. From the lymphatic vessels, lymph will move through to lymph nodes. It will then move through to more lymphatic vessels. Then the lymphatic ducts collect all of the body's lymph and empty it into the internal jugular and subclavian veins. Unlike the circulatory system, which has the heart to pump blood, the lymphatic system has no driving force to pump lymph through the body. So how does lymph from your foot make its way back up your leg towards your heart? There are a few ways this happens. The primary way lymph moves through the body is through skeletal muscle contraction. When skeletal muscle contracts, lymph vessels are squeezed and lymph is forced up through the one-way valves. This mechanism is known as the lymphatic pump. There is also some smooth muscle located near larger lymph vessels, which also contracts and aids in lymph movement in much the same way. Lymph is also influenced by the change in pressure in the thoracic cavity when we breathe. When we breathe in and we breathe out, that pressure is continually changing. From the things we've discussed, it's easy to see how the rate of lymph flow can be influenced by perhaps exercise or massage. Both of these things can increase the rate of lymph movement. Also, when the lymphatic system is not working properly, we get a build-up of fluid. That interstitial fluid, it can't get absorbed back into the blood capillaries. And if it's not going into the lymphatic capillaries, it's sitting in the tissue. And it begins to build up and create swelling. The medical term for the condition is edema. So from the things we've discussed, I hope you've got a little bit more motivation to keep moving and keep active and have a happy, healthy body.